of being done in someone else's... Okay. Okay, so I just got back from Captain America's Civil War a little while ago, and... I'm letting you know right now, it's absolutely amazing. Yep. Definitely, without question, Marvel's best film yet. I can say that with absolute honesty, hey, without any hyperbole anyway. So, and Before I get into the details, I'm going to let you know right now, I'm going to be reviewing this as a movie. I have not read the comic yet, at, at, and I do not want it spoil for me because it's highly controversial and I might not have the same opinion as one of this. Also, there will also not be any spoilers of any kind, so if you want to find out what happens, by all means, go see the movie because it's also a really good movie. Okay. So, after the events of the previous Marvel films, films ones I specifically call attention to are the both of the Avengers films I've done so far and Wonder Soldier, Jer, the World of Neo's to impose regulations on the Avengers, while Tony Stark, played again by Robert Downey Jr., is on board with the idea, Captain America, played by, again by Chris Evans, is doubtful and thinks so to home more harm than good. And Amid all this going on, there's there's the assassin Crossbones played by Frank Grillo, and and this warlord Baron Zemo played by Daniel Bruhl, and I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what that latter one does, but it because it will keep you guessing in every scene like it was with me. And without question. And and Anthony and Joe Russo, Russo have really outdone themselves. And even with all they've, all these, all the Marvel movies have done since the first Iron Man, this is definitely shows how far they've come over the past eight years. Since even though we've already had some big hits this year with Deadpool and Batman vs Superman and everything. This is not going to be the standard to which not only Marvel's which films, but also all other comic book films, films are going to be held to in the coming years. I mean, it's because of how not only does it approach the conflict with showing how the consequences of everything going on in there, but also how it treats characters. I mean, it's definitely. The, a movie, the movie that the G.I. Joe movies wish they could be, you know, on this main sense. Because of how it's, they don't just make them strong and badass, which are certainly that. They actually give them flaws and qualities that make them relatable to, to audiences, I mean, since. And so you really get. I mean, look at the scene where. There's a scene in the movie really where the vision cooks for the first time for Scarlet Witch. And. Those characters, even though they may not be as well known as other other characters as Marvel Universe, this mean they are still engaging and supposedly engaging complex as well. I mean, and I am also confident that Anthony and Joe Russo did a much better job balancing this whole ensemble of characters than the Amazing Spider-Man Two just one here, and also. Now that I'm on the subject, I'm going to mention what's been you know, really been something I've been excited about and my expectations not only met, but I only succeeded. I mean, I honestly think that Tom Holland Spider Man is the best in this version since there's another care character heritage that's been commanded film so far. I mean, the way he's depicted fits perfectly in there. Her, universe and the costume is really awesome awesome reminds me a lot of Steve Ditko's original design for like Harry Potter first appeared in Music Fantasy number 15 I think the reboot as well as the appearance in this movie definitely are huge points over the Amazing Spider-Man 2 I mean that's who oh, since those films may market themselves amazing but Holland truly is amazing I mean 
and on the same subject of characters there's that blank pa black panther uh, t'challa played by chadwick boseman is an utter badass in this movie a sense 50 years have passed since he was introduced to the first major african-american superhero oh and he definitely puts on a very very in a dramatic performance and shows off fighting prowess whereas as after he seeks to avenge the death of his father other other and I mean it every character they have in this movie gets their time to shine I mean I mean I mean Black Widow she plays Gunnar Johansson we get to see more Ant-Man play a Paul Rudd and and the War Machine, played by a Don Shadle, and even ones without superpowers, as definitely hold their own against all the threats they're facing. Not just from the villains, but also with each other. Other of particular note, going Hawkeye, played again by Jeremy Renner, and thankfully. Glad Sharon Carter, played by Emily Van Kemp, got a bigger part in this movie because Winter Soldier, I really liked her and also how she managed to get this whole Mexican standoff in the other climax of that movie. movie and I am really serious about this, guys. It's easily a on par with The Dark Knight hate in terms of how it handles not only being a blockbuster movie but also one that we need and hate at this point in society since since given all these overseas conflicts as well as ones at home politically and economically we can easily take this as both a fun escapism as well as as something that gives us new perspective because of what's going on on that and because it's often been said that comic book heroes are like modern myths, much like the ancient myths of many other countries, praising that something to look, someone look up to when we don't know who else to trust. But even in that situation, I still think that even though I gather the comic book is very controversial, still the film definitely works, works with how it puts the characters who definitely draw the story, right and. Right, and in many ways, is we definitely you can get a lot of enjoyment out of that. And the scene in the middle of the credits is also really good. I mean, and I mean it. I am not spoiling anything all that major. I mean, I implore you to go see the movie. We we that's if you want to find out. And that's definitely what I like so much about these Marvel ones that they can stand on their own. own since even if these characters may not be as as recognizable as folks like Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, and the X-Men, and they, they can still <coughs> prove to be very a, a good characters, and and also how make 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 a great movie It'll be based on that, that given how that. That we can be invested in them as, um, as audiences and also how they, they can also be hey, very good to each other, other and how they play off one another, complement each other's strengths and weaknesses. As I mean, that's. As that's. As and. I definitely can say that the Infinity War, whatever they're going to be calling it now, is going to be in good hands with Anthony and Joe. Oh, and. Looking forward to some other other ones that had coming down the line, like Doctor Strange, the MCU. But given how this is not my computer, I'm currently using one right now. It's someone else's to record this. That's going to be a matter for another day, as well. Discussing the trailers started during the film, and there were a lot of them. Um, so, anyway, my rating is going to be an emphatic four stars out of four. More that's. Her and I would be very much willing to see the movie again, given how the nice guys looked interesting, 
game, but apart from that, the competitors don't look too impressive, especially since X-Men's not coming out till more of a weekend, upon seeing it on the day itself. Oh, and anyway, that's all I had to say for now. Feel free to leave me some comments, comments in the box, or from my Google Plus page, and I will see you all later. Mm -hmm.